Please come in. Welcome. Giants may seem like creatures from fairy tales or fantasy films, but they do exist. Among us are extraordinary human beings of gigantic size who lead normal lives. From the man nicknamed the eighth wonder of the world to the giant lady who gave birth to an enormous child, join us as we show you 17 real-life human giants that really existed. Number 17, Anna Haining Bates. Born in 1846 in Millbrook, Nova Scotia, Anna Haining Bates grew into the tallest woman of the 19th century at a remarkable 7 feet 11 inches. Even as an infant, Bates displayed extraordinary growth. Weighing 18 pounds at birth, she shattered norms. By age six, she had already reached five feet two inches tall, matching her own mother's height. As an adolescent, Bates left rural Nova Scotia to tour with P.T. Barnum's famed American Circus. There she met and married acromegalic giant Martin Van Buren Bates, who stood seven feet nine inches tall. Though exploitative, the circus provided Anna's primary income and fame during this era. On tour, crowds clamored to glimpse the seven-foot, three-inch teenage Bates. Stunned audience members surrounded her with measuring tapes to verify her stature with their own eyes. Many gawked at the size of her hands and feet, which required custom-made gloves and shoes. In 1871, a widely publicized wedding ceremony in London united 19-year-old Anna and the man dubbed Kentucky Giant Martin Bates, who was twice her age at 47. Their rare union was that of the world's tallest man and woman of the time. On January 19, 1879, Anna gave birth to a baby boy who weighed 29 pounds 12 ounces and was nearly 34 inches tall, making him the largest baby in recorded history until 1955. The child survived just 11 hours after his birth, however. He was referred to as Babe and broke two records that still stand today the longest baby, and the heaviest birth documented in all of history. Tragically, in 1888, at just 41 years old, Anna passed away from tuberculosis and other health issues related to her extraordinary size. Her legacy as both the tallest woman in Canada and America lives on. Number 16. Sun Ming Ming. At a towering 7 feet 9 inches, Sun Ming Ming is the tallest professional basketball player in recorded history. Born in 1983 in Harbin, China, Ming Ming grew up in humble means and did not play basketball until 15 due to limited resources. But soon his tremendous size caught the attention of coaches and scouts. By the age of 22, Ming Ming had reached his full height of 7 feet 9 inches, an unprecedented measurement. His gigantism stemmed from a pituitary tumor causing an overproduction of growth hormone throughout his teenage years and into early adulthood. In 2005, the 21-year-old Ming Ming traveled nearly 8,050 kilometers from China to the United States to pursue his NBA dreams. At the NBA draft, Ming Ming was officially measured at 7 feet 8.75 inches in height barefoot. This marked the first time in NBA history a player had been measured at over 7 feet 8 inches tall. While Ming Ming's sheer size was jaw-dropping, his skills had not developed adequately to compete against the world's best. He went undrafted in 2005, but continued pursuing professional basketball across the globe. Ming Ming played in leagues in the U.S., Mexico, Japan, and China over a nearly 10-year club career. During this remarkable journey, Ming Ming's larger-than-life presence attracted media attention and cameo appearances. He was drafted by the famed Harlem Globetrotters exhibition team in 2007, known for their basketball artistry and entertainment flair. Ming Ming also landed minor acting roles, including in the Hollywood film Rush Hour 3, starring Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Though never an NBA All-Star, Sun Ming Ming's extraordinary 7 feet and 8.91 inch frame smashed basketball's height record books. His globetrotting career made Ming Ming an unforgettable Chinese cultural icon in the sports world. And his perseverance remains an inspiration, proving giants can achieve big dreams. Number 15. Andre the Giant. Andre René Rusimov, better known as Andre the Giant, lived up to his moniker standing 7 feet 4 inches and weighing over 440 pounds. 
Born in 1946 in France, André's gigantism stemmed from acromegaly caused by excessive growth hormone production. His size and strength led him to professional wrestling stardom. André's wrestling career spanned three decades from the 1960s to the 80s. His larger-than-life persona and athletic prowess transfixed audiences. André headlined major events like WrestleMania III, where an attendance record of 93,000 fans watched his main event match. Along the way, André also accrued acting credits, including his role as Fezzik in the classic film The Princess Bride. However, acromegaly took a toll on André's health. Excessive growth strained his heart and bones. André underwent back surgery in 1986, which confined him to a wheelchair for a time. Deteriorating health forced André's retirement in 1992. Congestive heart failure ultimately led to his passing at age 46 in 1993. At his peak, André the Giant reached a weight of 520 pounds to complement his towering height. His unmatched physical presence combined with exceptional talent cemented his legacy as one of wrestling's all-time greats. Though his life was shortened by health issues, André's larger-than-life persona secured his status as the unforgettable eighth wonder of the world. Number 14. Robert Wadlow Towering over all of history at a phenomenal height of 8 feet 11 inches, Robert Wadlow from Illinois stands as the tallest human ever recorded. Born in 1918, Robert's extraordinary stature stemmed from hyperplasia of his pituitary gland, leading to an overproduction of growth hormone. By age 8, he had already surpassed his father's height. As Robert grew taller, he gained national attention for his staggering size. Though challenged by limited mobility requiring leg braces, he maintained a gentle spirit and pursued activities like Boy Scouts. In 1936, Robert's fame led the Ringling Brothers Circus to recruit him for their national tour. Billed as the Alton Giant, Robert wowed audiences including at Madison Square Garden. Robert's height also attracted International Shoe Company, who provided him custom-made shoes free of charge. This sponsorship allowed him to embark on a national marketing tour to promote their brand. By the age of 22, Robert reached his peak height of 8 feet 11 inches, making him the tallest person ever. Sadly, in 1940, at just the age of 22, an ankle infection and complications led to Robert's untimely demise. Over 25,000 people attended his funeral to pay respects to this gentle American giant. Today, a statue in Illinois commemorates Robert's extraordinary yet brief life. Though his time was limited, the Alton Giant's record-setting height remains unmatched. Number 13. Sandy Allen Sandra Elaine Allen, better known as Sandy Allen, remains etched in history as the tallest woman in America during the 20th century. Born in 1955 in Chicago, Illinois, Sandy started growing at an accelerated rate from early childhood. By the remarkable age of 10, she had already surpassed the average human height. Sandy was eventually diagnosed with acromegaly, a condition caused by excessive production of growth hormone due to a tumor on the pituitary gland. This tumor resulted in her phenomenal height of 7 feet and 7.25 inches. Sandy faced numerous challenges during her formative years due to her extraordinary stature. She struggled to find clothes and shoes that fit properly. The towering Sandy also faced bullying and unwanted attention during school and college. However, she maintained a positive and resilient spirit despite the obstacles posed by her height. As she grew taller, Sandy started gaining national attention. Curious onlookers traveled far and wide to catch a glimpse of this towering figure. This propelled Sandy into the limelight. In the mid-1970s, she contacted the Guinness Book of World Records, inquiring about the record for the world's tallest living woman. After verifying her height, Guinness confirmed that Sandy Allen was indeed the tallest living female in the world at that time. This catapulted Sandy into fame, and opportunities started pouring in. She appeared on various television shows and documentaries, enlightening viewers about her experiences as the tallest woman in America. Sandy also played a role in the 1981 movie Sideshow, where she portrayed a kindly giantess. Sandy leveraged her newfound fame and platform to advocate against bullying. She shared her personal struggles of being different and emphasized the importance of kindness and acceptance. 
Sandy made it her life's mission to inspire others to embrace uniqueness. She frequented schools across America to motivate students to overcome challenges and treat everyone with compassion. Despite her towering height and resulting health complications like chronic pain, arthritis, and diabetes, Sandy lived life to the fullest with a warm and friendly disposition. She passed away in 2008 at 53, but left behind a lasting legacy of spreading positivity. Sandy Allen remains an iconic, gentle giantess in American history who encouraged generations to celebrate diversity. Number 12. Zhang Junzai Hailing from the Hunan province of China, Zhang Junzai remains one of the tallest women in modern history with a staggering height of 7 feet 11.25 inches. Zhang started displaying abnormal growth patterns from as early as four months old. By the tender age of nine, she had already reached five feet two inches, taller than most grown men. Doctors confirmed that Zhang suffered from a pituitary tumor, which led to excessive secretion of growth hormone and accelerated skeletal development. As Zhang grew taller, she faced increasing challenges in day-to-day -day life. Her family struggled to provide clothing and shoes for her mammoth frame. She also developed mobility issues and joint pains tied to her excessive height. In addition, Zhang suffered from scoliosis, causing an abnormal sideways curvature of the spine. Despite her physical limitations, Zhang radiated kindness and maintained a positive attitude. She happily interacted with curious visitors who flocked to see China's tallest woman. Zhang also displayed great courage in facing her condition. With limited medical facilities in her small town, treatment options were scarce. Still, Zhang persevered with astounding resilience. By the time Zhang turned 17, she had reached her full height of 7 feet 11.25 inches, a world record for the tallest female teenager. Shortly after, she passed away due to complications from her gigantism. Her life was tragically brief, but Zhang leaves behind a legacy of optimism and inner strength. For bravely bearing her extraordinary stature, Zhang Junzai remains revered as one of China's most remarkable giants. Number 11. Margot Didek. At 7 feet 2 inches, Margot Margot Didek from Poland stands as the tallest player in the history of the Women's National Basketball Association, WNBA. Born in 1974, Margot began playing basketball with her two sisters during school. She began her professional career in Europe before being drafted by the Utah Stars, now known as the San Antonio Stars of the WNBA in 1998. Margot's tremendous height provided her significant advantages on the court. She excelled as a center with her impressive wingspan, allowing her to be a dominant force for rebounds and blocked shots. Margot spent over a decade in the WNBA playing for teams like the Connecticut Sun and Los Angeles Sparks. The towering Margot earned many accolades, including becoming a two-time WNBA All-Star in 2003 and 2006. She holds several league records like the most blocks in a season 114 and career blocks 877. In recognition of her achievements, Margot was voted one of the WNBA's top 15 players of all time in 2011. Off the court, Margot was known for her cheerful personality and kindness. She was actively involved in community initiatives and taught basketball clinics for children. Margot also became a mother of three boys during her playing career. Tragically, Complications from a heart attack led to Margot's untimely demise in 2011 at just 37 years old. The WNBA lost a legendary giant both in terms of her exceptional height and warm character. Margot Didek remains revered as the greatest center in WNBA history and an inspiration both on and off the basketball court. Number 10. Brahim Takiula Towering at 8 feet 1 inch, Moroccan man Brahim Takiula has entered the Guinness Book of World Records not only for his impressive height, but also for his mammoth feet size. Brahim's extraordinary dimensions are attributed to acromegaly or excessive secretion of growth hormones due to a pituitary gland tumor. By the age of 18, Brahim had already reached 6 feet 2 inches in height. But later in his 20s, his body underwent a second growth spurt that further elongated his limbs and expanded his extremities to abnormal proportions. Today, Brahim's feet measure an unbelievable 1 foot 3 inches long, making them the current record holder for the world's largest. He wears custom shoe sizes of European 58 and 59, equivalent to American size 28. 
Due to his insanely large feet, Brahim struggles to find ready-made shoes and has to rely on footwear specially designed for him. Apart from these giant feats, Brahim also ranks as the second tallest living person in the world behind Turkey's Sultan Kosin. Both men exceed eight feet in height. Despite physical limitations from gigantism, Brahim maintains a positive spirit and uses his platform to raise awareness about growth disorders. While many know Brahim as the man with the largest shoes, he hopes his truly giant heart will be his lasting legacy. Brahim Takiula exemplifies how we can turn adversity into opportunity and touch lives even from great heights. Number 9. Bernard Coyne In the early 20th century, an extraordinary individual named Bernard Coyne gained fame across America for his tremendous height. Nicknamed the Silent Giant, Bernard stood 8 feet 1.5 inches tall by the end of his adolescence. Born in 1897 in Anthon, Iowa, Bernard displayed rapid growth from childhood. By age 13, he had already surpassed six feet in height. Doctors diagnosed Bernard with unicornuate infantile gigantism, an extremely rare condition characterized by excessive growth hormone secretion from a pituitary tumor. As he grew taller, Bernard faced challenges finding clothes and shoes befitting his frame. His size often drew unwanted attention, though he was known for his gentle, reserved nature. Bernard's limited mobility and joint pains from his height also precluded sustained employment. Traveling circus shows capitalized on Bernard's extraordinary stature, billing him as a freak attraction. Though exploitative, these tours became his primary livelihood during his short life. Fans marveled at seeing a man over eight feet tall in person. Bernard passed away at just 23 years old in 1921 due to complications from unicornuate gigantism. His life illustrates the difficulties faced by people with extreme heights while highlighting the resilience of the human spirit. Though shy in disposition, Bernard Coyne's gentle nature made him a beloved silent giant in the eyes of many. Number 8. Don Kohler In the annals of human height, few compare to the stature of Don Kohler from Wisconsin. At a staggering 8 feet 2 inches, Don stands as one of the tallest individuals in history. Born in 1925 with a twin sister of normal height, Don's excessive growth stemmed from a pituitary gland condition causing gigantism. From early childhood, Don towered over family and friends. Finding suitable clothing and shoes was a constant battle. Still, Don's kind nature earned him the nickname Gentle Giant early on. Despite unwanted attention for his size, he maintained a positive attitude. Don's height proved problematic for his career prospects. Simple tasks like driving cars or sitting at desks were challenges. As an adult, Don found employment doing odd jobs best suited for his height. Changing light bulbs in factories or retrieving items from high shelves became his specialty. In his personal life, Don's height made courtship difficult, but he eventually met and married his average-sized wife, Dorothy. Together, they found creative solutions to accommodate Don's unique needs at home. Though limited in mobility due to arthritis, Don stayed engaged in his community by speaking about his experiences. Don Kohler passed away in 1981 at 55. While his life was not always easy, Don spread kindness and optimism to others. His story illustrates how individuals can adapt to adversity with grace and humanity no matter what heights they reach. The gentle Wisconsin giant remains beloved for using his extraordinary stature to lift up those around him. Number 7. Trincha Kever. The 17th century saw the emergence of Trincha Kever, the tallest woman ever recorded 8 feet 4 inches. Born in 1916 in the Dutch city of Alkmaar, Trincha's extraordinary height astounded onlookers. By age 9, she had reached over 6 feet 7 inches tall. Little information exists about Trincha's family or personal life. However, her size brought her great notoriety. People traveled miles just to catch a glimpse of the giantess of Alkmaar. Royalty like Queen Elizabeth of Bohemia arranged visits to marvel at Trincha's height. To capitalize on her fame, Trincha's parents showcased her in carnivals for money. Circus promoters vied to feature the tallest woman alive as their star attraction. Though exploitative, these tours became the family's livelihood. Despite unwanted attention, Trincha maintained a gracious, gentle demeanor. At 1633, at just 17 years old, Trincha passed away from unknown causes, cutting short her extraordinary life. 
While details are scarce, her age of death suggests potential health complications from her rapid, extreme growth. Nevertheless, the giantess of Alkmaar's legend persists as a fascinating Dutch icon from the era. Her peak height of 8 feet 4 inches remains unmatched centuries later. Number 6. Sultan Kosin. Currently standing as the world's tallest living person, Sultan Kozin from Turkey measures a staggering 8 feet 2.8 inches tall. Kozin's phenomenal height is attributed to a pituitary gland tumor causing overproduction of growth hormone. His condition was discovered in his late teens when his growth dramatically accelerated. Kozin became an international sensation once his height was verified and publicized. His gentle, cheerful nature, despite the difficulties of gigantism, charmed people globally. As his fame grew, Kosin made television appearances and traveled to events around the world as an ambassador for Turkey. In 2009, Kozin's height was officially confirmed as 8 feet 2.8 inches, making him the new record holder. The Guinness Book of World Records certified this mark along with Kozin's exceptionally large feet and hands. Though mobility is a challenge, Kosin maintains a positive spirit and uses his platform to inspire others. In 2013, he married his wife, who stands 6 feet 4 inches tall. Their combined height of 14 feet 8 inches is the tallest married couple in history. Sultan Kosin continues to delight audiences worldwide with his affable personality and sense of humor about his height. Turkey is proud to share this gentle giant who brings wonder and joy to people across the globe. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This old photograph captures an astonishingly gigantic man, leaving the masses in utter disbelief. His sheer size resembles that of a genuine giant, rendering the surrounding figures mere ants in comparison. Even in contrast to the renowned record holder Robert Wadlow, towering at an impressive height of 8 feet 11.1 inch, this figure in the image surpasses him. Bearing a striking resemblance to giant characters from a fictional series, it's difficult to estimate his precise weight and height from the image. Can you guess what his height and weight might be? Share your guesses in the comments. Number 5. John Rogan the only figure to approach Robert Wadlow's immense height was John Rogan at 8 feet 9 inches tall. Born in Tennessee in 1867, John worked as an entertainer billing himself as the Long John. His astonishing size resulted from ankylosis, a spinal condition causing excessive growth. John's limited mobility confined him to a wagon that he used as a wheelchair. Despite his misfortune, John's charismatic personality and singing talent made him a popular attraction. Curious crowds clamored to see the legendary John Rogan in person. During tours, John sold photographic portraits and postcards which provided his income. This enterprising spirit allowed him to achieve financial stability despite his disability. John's memorable presence and charm earned him renown across early 20th century America. In 1905, at age 37, John passed away from complications due to ankylosis. His record height of 8 feet 9 inches amazingly stood for 35 years until broken by Robert Wadlow. Though his time was short, John Rogan's extraordinary stature secured his legacy as one of the tallest figures in history. The legendary Long John remains revered as an unforgettable American giant. Number 4. John F. Carroll John Francis Carroll once held the title of world's tallest living person at a mighty 8 feet 7.75 inches tall. Born in 1932 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Carroll's gigantism stemmed from an overactive pituitary gland. By high school, he had reached 7 feet 9 inches in height. Carroll's enormous size naturally limited his vocational options. After high school, he found work at a sporting goods store where he could leverage his height to stock shelves and assist customers. Carroll later worked for an industrial fastener company to support his wife and daughter. As Carroll's height verification circulated in the 1960s, the media took interest in this living giant residing in Wisconsin. He appeared in Ripley's Believe It or Not and traveled to events to meet amazed fans eager to see the Milwaukee Mountain Man. Carroll passed away in 1969 at only 37 years old when his heart could no longer sustain his massive 8-foot 8 8-inch 8 frame. Though his life was short, Carroll handled his circumstances with humility and friendliness. His peak height remains one of the greatest ever documented, earning John Carroll recognition among the most prodigious human giants. 
Number 3. Afiz Agoro Arguably Nigeria's most extraordinary citizen ever was Afiz Agoro, who grew to become the nation's tallest person at 7 feet 9 inches. Born in the 1975 in Sabo Yaba, Lagos State, Agoro progressed normally until age 19 when acromegaly triggered an extreme growth spurt leading him to astounding heights. This hormonal condition is caused by a tumor on the pituitary gland which releases excessive amounts of growth hormone. By his mid-twenties, Agoro had reached 7 feet 9 inches, making him a giant even among his country's large populace of over 216 million. As word of Nigeria's friendly giant spread locally and nationally, a fascinated public descended seeking photos and encounters with the remarkable Agoro. He also gained visibility participating in university basketball owing to his 7 foot 9 inch frame. However, acromegaly took a toll on Agoro's body. Finding shoes, clothing, and furniture for a man of his proportions proved challenging. Agoro also frequently bumped his head on ceiling fans and light fixtures, not constructed with people over seven feet in mind. These factors made everyday life an obstacle course. In spite of these difficulties, Agoro maintained a spirited, charming attitude and became renowned as the Nigerian giant. After completing his college education, Agoro landed minor roles in Nollywood films, bringing his story to the big screen. Sadly, in 2023, Agoro passed away at just 47 years old due to health complications from acromegaly, the condition that made him both famous and infamous. His extraordinary height of 7 feet 9 inches will likely stand unmatched in Nigeria for generations, cemented in history. Number 2. Paul Sturgis Paul Sturgis remains the tallest confirmed British man in history at 7 feet 7 inches due to an extreme growth spurt caused by gigantism. Born in 1987 in Loughborough, England, Sturgis reached 6 feet 5 inches tall by just age 16. This staggering ascent did not cease until Sturgis completed his vertical climb at 231 centimeters. As a towering teen, Sturgis sought to leverage his unprecedented size through basketball. Despite his lack of high-level skills, Sturgis's 7 feet 7 inches height provided eye-popping advantages on the court. In 2008, at the age of 21, Sturgis signed with the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters basketball exhibition team. Though known for their tricks and comedy, the Globetrotters marveled at Sturgis's whopping giant stature. He traveled over 32,000 kilometers with the team over five years, relishing his role in entertaining crowds. After his Globetrotters stint, Sturgis competed professionally in the NBA's Development League, along with stops in Mexico and Japan. However, he struggled with the speed and stamina necessary to excel against top talent. In 2013, after playing overseas, Sturgis returned home to Britain and announced his retirement from professional basketball at just 26 years old. His enormous size unfortunately took too harsh a toll on his body to continue. Though no longer a big baller, Paul Sturgis remains a larger-than-life icon in Britain. His Guinness-certified height will likely stand unmatched in his homeland for generations to come. Number 1. Yao Defen A human marvel emerged from China in the 1990s. A humble farm girl named Yao Defen, who soared to become the nation's tallest woman ever at 7 feet 7.5 inches. Born in 1972 in Shuchang Village, Yao displayed astonishing growth in childhood reaching 6 feet 7 inches by the age of 15. Doctors diagnosed Yao with gigantism caused by a tumor on her pituitary gland, leading to an overabundance of growth hormone. As news spread of the prodigious girl from Shuchang Village, crowds journeyed over a hundred kilometers hoping to see Yao Defen in person. A painfully shy young woman, Yao greeted curious visitors with grace and warmth, a remarkable show of courage given her condition. She faced substantial challenges finding clothing to fit her swaying giant frame and shoes for her one-foot-long feet. After her growth concluded, sports coaches pursued Yao to groom her for basketball stardom. But chronic joint pain and soreness stemming from her gigantism dashed those dreams. With limited medical options in rural China, her health sadly deteriorated. Through it all, Yao maintained a positive spirit and worked tirelessly on her family's farm. Her perseverance in the face of adversity made Yao an inspiration to many. 
In 2012, at just 40 years old, complications from gigantism took Yao's life, robbing China of its most extraordinary girl. Though gone too soon, her memory lives on as an embodiment of China's rural heartland. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.